Hey everybody, welcome back to week two of the painting modeling section of the Repentance Horus Heresy campaign. I hope you guys have been enjoying um, doing all your modeling and uh, getting the thousand points ready for your first games if you are participating. And if not, I hope you enjoyed following along with the progress that everybody's been making um, on their various projects. Now, it's been a busy week and I'm going to admit, I've gone off the rails. I mean, it was inevitable. <laughs> um, as soon as something shiny catches my attention, I tend to go off the rails. Not that I'm not going to finish my Blood Angels project, it's going to happen. There is a whole element to the Repentance campaign where you can unlock an ally detachment, and I'm going to keep painting my Blood Angels in that regard, but they dropped the expanded unit list for Horus Heresy this week as a free PDF online. I'll link it in the comments so you can check it out. It's all the additional units that kind of were missing. There's a few that aren't around still, but either models that are no longer in the product range, never had miniatures, um, or units that are sort of like special, specific Legion units. There's an expanse set of rules, and that included the Deliverers for the Raven Guard, um, which is the Unification Wars pre Korax being found um, units of Terrans who were fighting in that Legion. And they trained with the Jesteran um, and Horus. And so they're a very special, they're not really trusted by Korax, but they're like a super elite veteran cataphracty units. You can have zero to one in your army. Um, and as I just finished painting two massive um, cataphracty squads from the Horus Heresy Age of Darkness box set, I got inspired. Then I went back and I was like, well, they're Terrans, so they're not necessarily as like, like affected by the gene seed that uh, Korax has. They're not necessarily the pale sort of like uh, recruits from Deliverance itself. Um, and so I decided I was going to repaint my sergeants, but also make myself a new Praetor. And you can see here, I converted the, um, the Praetor from Betrelit Kalth, which is the Cataphracty Praetor. Um, I gave him a new head and a new claw, Dark Talon, because I wanted him to obviously have some Raven Guard sort of like influence and make him a little different. He comes stuck with a Chain Fist. So that's a standard Cataphracty Lightning Claw. I just lopped off the Chain Fist arm and mounted it sort of like appropriately between all of the like little strappy sort of gizmos that are hanging down on him. I uh, gave him a cool head, and you'll notice he has a very different uh, flesh tone. I have this like pale, almost like albino flesh tone. Uh, it's, it's almost like sickly looking on the rest of my Raven Guard that I did. I figured he's a Terran. He's from the Unification Wars. He's got sort of a ruddy pink, like Bugman's Glow, highlighted up with a bit of white um, as the flesh tone, and it makes him stand out. I think it's cool. So this is actually going to be my Praetor for my games. I love the idea of it being maybe a Centurion from the um, Deliverers that gets like, uh, you know, his own command and he's on his way in the mass conveyor when everything crashes on Repentance. That way I could have a unit Deliverers, I can have a unique Raven Guard unit in my army. And for that reason, I repainted my two Sergeants. So you can see them here too. I gave them the same flesh tone treatment and just basically picked out, it, they're, they're exactly the same as they were, but I picked out the skin tone and changed it back to like a ruddy kind of like tanned uh, Terran sort of look, as opposed to the um, the the sort of like uh, I keep on saying Nostroman. It is kind of Nostroman. The Deliverance like uh, prisoners in a cell, pale. Um, you know, we've gotten maybe the tampered gene seed that Korax has been infusing people with. We have a, a newer Raven Guard gene seed that's maybe messed up the the Astartes a little bit. Um, and then the thing that after I painted those, I painted my my commander. I was like, well. If, if these are going to be Deliverers, now my Cataphracty, I should have some actual Terminators. And the thing is that because the Cataphracty have Heavy, they can't benefit from the Talons rule in the Raven Guard Legion. So I wanted to have a unit of Tartarus Terminators, which I converted as well. Um, so you can see here, I, I did a five-man squad of Tartarus. That way I have a Terminator squad that can actually benefit from the Infiltrate rules, um, which all of the Raven Guard get. Uh, as long as they're not heavy, I guess, if they're just infantry. Um, and I gave them all Dark Talons. They all have Lightning Claws, upgraded to Dark Talons, which is the special Lightning Claws that only the uh, Raven Guard get. Um, I gave two of the Magna Combi weapons. I happen to have a bunch of Forge World Resin left over from my Alpha Legion project. And I found two Combi Meltas, which is handy, because infiltrating Terminators with close assault weapons, I uh, love having Melta Guns. And I gave them a Reaper Assault Cannon, a Reaper Auto Cannon, sorry, um, and a Vexilla. And that's a Vexilla off of actually the Mark Sixes that fit perfectly on one of the Terminators. So there we go, a five man Terminator squad now too, uh, that can hang out and provide some support to the tactical squads that are all infiltrating and stuff as well. And then last but not least, because I was downstairs airbrushing, getting everything sort of like primed and ready to paint, um, I primed my uh, Kratos Assault Tank. I decided to, to paint it for my Raven Guard as well um, and got the basic airbrushing down on the hull and the tracks. It's Corvus Black, 
on the hull, just over the black primer, leaving the black primer showing through the recesses for that nice fade. Uh, and then Mornfang Brown and I think Goldfag Brown as the two airbrushes for the, um, the tracks, like the base coat airbrush. And then I give it a little dry brush before I start doing every, like anything else. I like to do the messy stuff first um, in my, uh, my painting and then move to sort of smaller and smaller steps. Uh, I, did, I think it's also Goldfag Brown, the dry paint as a dry brush on the tracks. And so that's it, that's what I got done this week. So eight models painted or repainted um, and a big old tank ready to go. So let's go and check out what everyone else has been doing and see how the week went. I went, so this time around I went on my phone and I preloaded all the images. So I've gone through the thread and preloaded everything so I can see what people are working on. All right, so Timothy R with his white scars. He's got a tactical squad and a half done it looks like and his Praetor uh, base coated and some Cataphracty kind of base coated too. That's the thousand points at least all put together so you can play some games. Uh, Darian Bear made a very cool looking, I think it's, it's like got like a bandolier on its chest. It's a Praetor, uh, duelist with a shield. I think it's an Ossier Bone Reaper shield. And then Sam Purchase did a hundred points of Space Wolves, but man, they're cool. He's converted the, cause you could just cut these off actually, I guess. He's taken the Astray shotguns, it looks like, and put them on uh, along with a bunch of, um, heads from the there's a, a, a minor combi bolt or no actually it's a magnet combi weapon and a uh a, a bunch of astray shotguns they look really good ken wasson finished his it looks like oh geez 25 mark three iron warriors they look really good i like the iron havocs there too with the heavy bolters in the back and lewis cairns just did his test model looks like for the blood angels and the cool beard, kind of like a Sergeant Tellion thing going on. Mm, Gareth Jeffrey finished up some Mark III Tactical Marines, and it looks like a, a like an Infiltrator style um, console as well with a Nemesis Bolter. I like the double carries assault cannons on the Dreadnought. That's very cool. Uh, Tyler Berry, Ultramarines are getting close to done. Two troops and an HQ are finished. He has two troop choices of. Um, Oh, he used the shiny metallic too, I like that, of uh, Tactical Marines and his uh, Dread. That's probably close to a thousand points. That's like 200 and almost 300 points. Oh, those are Tactical Support Squads actually. Those are probably 210. Yeah, there's a Heavy Support Squad, a Tactical Support Squad, and five Tactical Marines in there. So he looks like he's done, oh geez, if he gets to the Tactical Marines finished, he'll actually have full troop traces I'm ready to play. Uh, Paul Thomas just painted Horus. <laughs> I mean, that's a thousand points if you want to paint him as like demonically empowered Horus. He's got a thousand points all finished. Oh, Matt Roddenberry got a thousand points of Emperor's Children done. Oh, they're really cool. I like his double rhinos, the big Aquilas on them. They look good in the purple and gold. Convert his Praetor up a little bit. Double fist dreadnought and a double autocan dreadnought. Some heavy bolters in the back. A couple rhinos. That's a good looking army. Chris Boynton finished up some Sons of Horus with a, a cool looking Praetor, the, one of the resin Praetors. Oh, and Mark Sivier finished all of, it looks like almost the entire box set. He bought some upgrade packs. There's 30 Alpha Legion Tactical Marines, a Thunder Hammer Alpha Legion. It almost looks like he's converted himself a, uh, what's his name? A, um, oh shoot, with the Harrow Master. It's got a thunder hammer and a power sword. It's like his, he's making his own. And some cataphracty. And yeah, he used the last 10 Marines to make a 10 minute missile launcher squad. That's a good looking army. Uh, Seth Pizik did a very cool looking, oh, I like all the details. A very cool looking dread for his uh, Night Lords. He's hand painted all of the like Eighth Legion symbology and stuff like that in the skull mass and lightning. That's rad. And then James Garrett's put together a, uh, it's a Raven Guard, so like the Corvid, oh, was it, the Corvidae, um, as his, uh, his Thousand Sons. He's given them like the, the a loose Blood, Blood Raven logo, because that's what they are. And convert up his Praetor too. That's cool. It's good, good to see some Thousand Sons. I really like his Dreadnought. He did his Dreadnought up with like, um, a converted almost like uh, Tomb Kings y bunch of bits. It looks really good. Oh, cool. Michael Kirkby did a bunch of, uh, Kirkbride, sorry, uh, did a bunch of um, Sons of Horus in like a really like beat up like battle worn look. I really like that. 
and then did a, like a rotary cannon as well. Mm, Rick Abel or Abel did some Blood Angels. Got a Sanguinius and Attack Squad. Trevor Templeton almost got through his whole thousand points. Got Attack Squad almost done. His Praetor and a Dread. Oh, Scott Radium got a squad done. Fellow Canadian. He did a attack squad, looks like, with a Power Fist Sergeant. And Ken Watson went hard. He just did Tyrant Terminators, a console um, with a Thunder Hammer, and uh, a couple of Iron Circle. I mean, that'll fill up your thousand points real fast right there. Oh, and Benoit did his Contemptor. He converted up the old um, Plastic Contemptor from a trail at Calf. I like to let the galaxy burn across the chest. That's great. Convert up to be a um, cataphracty. He did some veterans and a praetor as well. And then Jonathan Hammett's done a whole bunch of stuff. A Scorpius with some crazy havocs and it looks like a master signal. Mm, Peter Francis finished a thousand points of salamanders. Those are looking good. Did the box set. He's got. Um, some veterans in there. Well, he's got Mark IVs, it looks like, along with Cataphracty. Actually, it looks like just the Praetor from the new box set, along with a, um, a Chaplain and then some Mark IV veterans. And then Ulf Lindblad Bernstedt did a, another squad of uh, Imperial Fists. Looks really nice. He also painted up a Rhino and a Psycharon. Ooh, and then Paul Thomas did some really nice um, Sons of Horus as well. He just prayed on like a Mark. He used the head from the vehicle crew, uh, the Mark II head. With, like, the, it's got like a slit visor. It's almost a Mark III, but you can see the visor, the eyes go all the way across, like Jordi LaForge style. That's really nicely done. I really like the blade. He put some blue on the metallic for the blade, and it looked really good. And then, oh, what else we got? Ooh, Dan Summers finished a really nice Psycharon in off Legion colors. Let's go resin Psycharon. And then Mike Finlow did a whole lot of Iron Warriors. Holy moly. He's got the tax done, a couple Rhinos, uh, Havocs, missile launchers. Took the week off work just to paint, it looks like. And some Iron Circle, and of course, Petarabo. And that's it. Wow, so much new stuff. I mean, there's more too. There's, there's bits and pieces. I was, I was kind of like skimming as I went through this, but what a great bunch of work people did this week. And now it's the reward time. I mean, obviously we have a little bit of time before this week ends. So, um, you know, you can get your games in whenever. I'm, I'm still working on my thousand points. I want to get the Kratos done. It's not in my thousand points, but I want to get it done before I play my first games. Uh, I'm going to be playing Horus Heresy all weekend, which I'm excited about. Get my thousand point game in, my 1250 point game in, and I'll post those up next week. Uh, and yeah, and we'll start clipping along. I'm gonna keep working on those Blood Angels. I got a couple more projects. I wanna do like some more Raven Guardy themed stuff. Like I'd really like to get like a reconnaissance squad done. Stuff that's in that like stealth kind of mode for the Raven Guard um, and, uh, and sort of like lean into their strengths. Now that the Deliverers are officially like Terran veterans, I wanna do some stuff that's like purely like the replacements from Repentance and stuff too and some heavy armor support to back it up. So there you go, big thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for hopefully a battle port, the first games in the Repentance campaign and I'll do another update on pictures from other people's games. Um, much like this to see uh, see how that went in Tonic Style Mash. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already and have a look through the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death for Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Game of Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. 
Huge thanks for watching. It really does help out. And happy gaming.